The Gilmerton Bridge transports over 1 million cars each month across the southern branch of the Elizabeth River and serves as a major artery for commercial and naval marine traffic. The Department of Transportation elected to initiate this $134 million project. As one of the few crossings over the Elizabeth River, the Virginia Department of Transportation and the city of Chesapeake made it a priority to update and expand this bridge in order to make travel across the river faster and more reliable for both automobiles and marine traffic alike. Across America, our infrastructure is aging. The old bridge we have there is built 1938. It's structurally past its life. Upgrading this important river passage is not without challenges, and it will take innovative construction methods to replace this aging infrastructure. The end result will lead to improved connections, fewer closures, and reduced traffic and marine congestion. This is the Gilmerton Bridge Replacement Project. For three years, the Virginia Department of Transportation, PCL, and other team members have been working together to engineer, plan, and construct the new bridge. The existing double-leaf bascule bridge is being replaced with an expanded capacity, higher elevation lift bridge. The team has used groundbreaking construction techniques to allow the existing bridge to remain operational, while elements such as two 220-foot towers for the bridge were constructed beneath and above the existing roadway and adjacent to an operational rail line. We have worked hand in hand on many complicated technical issues on this project, and all of them have resulted in win-win outcomes. You guys are great at what you do. Be proud of what we're doing, and let's leave here without any injuries. On an early morning in January, the ingenuity and planning of so many is finally being put into motion during three of the project's most critical days with the transport and installation of a 2,400-ton lift span. Today, we are moving our float-in barge underneath our lift span. Meet Jim Holche, Gilmerton Bridge Project Manager for PCL. The plan here is to get underneath the span, lift the span up, so that tomorrow morning we'll start transiting the uh, bridge to the new bridge site. In order to keep the existing bridge open during construction, the new lift span had to be built off-site presenting a variety of engineering challenges for the team. The solution to that was to go ahead and find a spot where we could build the bridge over water at the elevation that the bridge would be in its permanent orientation. The lift span's weight was yet another challenge that PCL had to manage and overcome. The weight of this bridge is 5 million pounds. Just to give you a point of reference, that's equivalent to the weight of 14 unloaded 747s. Meet Caleb Lynn, Gilmerton Bridge Project Manager for PCL. We're required to pick the span up off the false work and support it by a barge so that we can transit it down the Elizabeth River to the bridge site, which is currently awaiting its arrival. Working throughout the night, the team prepared the lift span for its seven nautical mile journey down the Elizabeth River. This will be the most critical operation of the entire project. It's morning, and after a successful night of preparations, the team is ready to begin floating the lift span downriver to its new home at the Gilmerton Bridge. We've raised the span off the false work and it's now resting on the barge, getting ready to transit the Elizabeth River. As the lift span begins its float down the Elizabeth River, five bridges must be cleared. These bridges will open on a strict schedule, so any issues that delay the float will ultimately require the barge to redock and try again another day. At the same time that we're transporting this structure to the final position, we'll have a separate crew working concurrently and they'll be demolishing the existing bridge so we can successfully float this bridge into position by the time it gets there. A float of this magnitude requires a tremendous amount of communication. Between VDOT, the contractor, the Coast Guard. We're all very excited to take this bridge to its new home at the bridge site. In just over two hours, the lift span was successfully delivered to the Gilmerton Bridge site without issue. Now that the lift span has arrived safely, the team prepares to remove the old bascule section so the new bridge can maneuver into its final resting place, connecting the north and south banks of the Elizabeth River. So we're moving along here with the demo work. Where's Dan at with the barge? Is he ready to start moving into the channel? When they're getting set up, so as soon as this thing comes out, he will be uh, moved over. Once we demo out this bascule span, we pull it away, lift span comes in, then a lot of the real work starts. The lift span's here behind me, along with the crane barge. So once the existing bascule span's out of the way, we'll start bringing in that crane barge and we'll uh, bring the lift span right behind it. Several hours later, the bascule span was removed 
clearing the way for the new lift span. On the Gilmerton Bridge project, there's really been a very strong sense of collaboration between PCL and VDOT, and this float-in operation has just been a very significant collaborative effort between all parties involved to take a very, very challenging problem and ultimately work it towards resolution. As the lift span makes its final push, the team must deal with the incredibly tight tolerances as they have no more than a few inches on either side of the existing roadway to fit the lift span in. Any last minute change in the weather, tide, or mechanical errors would jeopardize the three years of hard work leading up to this very moment. At the point where it's coming in, it's, it's really go time. It was tight, but we're gonna make it in pretty timely. At 1.15 p.m. on January 8th, the Virginia Department of Transportation, PCL, and other team members celebrated the success of a well-orchestrated plan with the new lift span now in place. Today we floated in the new lift span. It was a huge milestone for the project. I like the old span much better over there. <laughs> <laughs> and it was uh, an overall success, so we're real happy. The new bridge is going to be 35 feet above water where the old was 11 feet. That's going to help out with eliminating a lot of the lifts that we go through, be able to bring it back up to highway standards. We'll be able to bring tractor trailer loads across it again. So it's going to be a great asset to the area. Success can look different to different people. And for me, it's, it's a bunch of people that are smiling shaking hands, having a good time, getting the project done for the owner. Hey, we've got a great team, and I think we've done a great job. Proactive planning, constant communication, and innovation were important elements in the success of this project. Working in partnership with the Virginia Department of Transportation, Majeski and Masters, the City of Chesapeake, and the U.S. Coast Guard, PCL achieved their deadline, allowing marine and automobile traffic to use the new and vastly improved passage over the Elizabeth River.